What's up guys, FSC Trucking. I stopped for lunch here. We we'll start the new video after lunch. I stopped for lunch here at the Loves in Edon, Ohio. Not sure how you pronounce it, Eden, Edon, E-D-O-N. At the Loves. I went over here and I got myself a salad. We left the yard early this morning with this here striker. Notice it's snowing. What is with this weather? I can't believe it's still snowing. April 18th, it's still snowing. In Ohio now. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, last week we picked up this striker. Striker's made by Oshkosh, Pierce Fire Apparatus, the whole bit. I don't really remember the whole corporate structure of them, but it's Oshkosh, Pierce, collaborative deal. With that, this is going to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Oh, Why say New Hampshire? With that, this is going to Portsmouth, Virginia. Ultimately, it's for the United States Air Force. Pretty badass, big, huge fire truck. It's interesting going down the road. What do you think? What we did is we got on the Indiana Turnpike, came east. We got Ohio Turnpike, Pennsylvania Turnpike. Then we're going to drop down 70, go down towards Frederick, Maryland, and then uh, 270, 495, south side of DC, and over towards Portsmouth. That's the plan. Well, it has to be the plan because that's the routing. <laughs> oh well. Right there, you guys. Right there, United States Air Force, LUX, I guess that's where it's going. Luxembourg, maybe? I don't know. And that's serial number. Big old tires. Could have chose a better color, I always thought, right? Well, with that, enough me yapping. Showed you the fire truck. This one over here is Orwell. Orwell is my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. Powered by a 7FB variant, 3406B Caterpillar engine. Just listen to her purr. Just got something over there. This one's Kenworth. With that, let's get some lunch eaten, get some GoPros going, and get on down the road. Got a salad for lunch. I've been trying to actually exercise recently. Let's see if I can make this thing stick. Now, what I've been doing pretty recently, and it's been working, is getting these salads they gotta watch because like with the love some of them have them some of them don't believe it or not it doesn't necessarily have to do with the size of the loves truck stop as it does have to do with I think which restaurant is attached to it this one has a Arby's not a Hardee's I think the Hardee's is the where the problem lies but it could be wrong I'm not really 100% on that so don't quote me on it I'm not a fan of the tomatoes. Let's wind up in the trash. Put that there. That's what I'll do. Give it a little mix to try to stir it up a little. They have all different types in there. And I do like the hard boiled eggs. They don't put that much in there. And if all you try to eat is the salad, I fear that going to be a little protein deficient. So what I do is I buy the egg cup. The egg cup is pretty good. Honestly, put a little salt on them and just eat them. Not bad at all. If you're hungry, it'll certainly settle your, your belly down so you can get to the next decent meal. You, know, you get that midnight snack deal where you're hungry but you don't, there's nothing open to eat. Egg cup's pretty good. I do that too. But doing a lot of it with the with the truck, the other truck, the Dodge, the hail damage Dentzilla Dodge Ram. Anyway, I'll cut up the eggs a bit and I'll add more egg to my salad. Most of these truck stops, the egg cup comes with four eggs. slice them puppies stick them in the salad and then I'll add my dressing chop them up ah. I like eggs I put a bunch of eggs in my salad last one I'll add that later salad packets I only put two, 
You probably need three. I only put two. Try not to overdo it. Lunch is served. It's a pretty good size helping now I think about it. All I did is add an egg cup. Mixing it, well that could be a chore. So you eat it down a little, then you can mix it better. Lunch done, trash out, GoPro set up. Kill the high idle. I always bump that, that's the trailer handbrake. Commonly known as a trolley valve. Release the brake. Put truck in gear. What is a royal pain in the neck is when you get up here to the Ohio toll booth to take your ticket. You now have to, at least it used to be like that, you had to pull off the oversized vehicles, park ahead before entering. This little phone, you have to go over to it, pick it up, talk to them, tell them your permit number, all that, and then they'll direct you to how to proceed in which lane. But this fire truck has to go to the far right lane. wide one so that's why we go there. I smell brakes. I smell brakes. Someone came in here a little hot. Well, then again, I had to stop back there too, probably. Yes, I'm entering the uh, turnpike with a wide load. Uh, let's see here, permit number. Two two five seven eight two. It's 
So pull up to lane one and wait. Excellent. All righty, bye-bye. All righty, nice and easy. Indiana's a pain in the neck. This time the supervisor came out. I didn't have GoPros going. The supervisor came out because there's another truck that had an easy pass problem. Used my card on the neighboring lane and gave me a receipt. That worked out nice. But it was daytime, the night shift, terrible. Look back at past videos, you'll find out.
coming up on the new toll plaza. We're at the 47 mile mark on the Ohio Turnpike eastbound now. The signs are still blank. I guess they're still working on the finality of how they're going to do this. I don't know if they're going to do toll by plate or easy pass and you pull over and get a ticket like they used to do on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. If you were heading east, it used to be if you heading east, it was more expensive than going west in Pennsylvania for who knows why. And I mentioned earlier we were getting on the toll road. That this is all new. Most guys probably remember back in the double nickel days of the Ohio Turnpike. Right here, we used to refer to that as the 49 Bear Den. On the left right there is the maintenance shack and a state police barracks. That's the 49 Bear Den. Just beyond it, they built this. You'll see it here in a minute. Okay, you got the man booth to your right here. Three lanes. And then I guess this is an easy pass only lane. Oh, that looks like a royal pain in the ass because that right lane ain't no wider than the other two. You get a wide load through there. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the neck.
70 mile an hour road and you don't have but maybe 200 feet to get her woed down enough to make a very hard right turn. Which is why you see crap like this. It's a very dumb design. And you have to get onto brakes early while still in the travel lane on the interstate. Or you can be too fast for that turn. I don't mean by a little bit either. I mean a lot. tight in here. It wasn't really that low, it only took 166. But I didn't want to get it in Pennsylvania. I knew it wouldn't make it all the way to Maryland on that. Plus, the way we're going, there isn't any truck stops on 70, down 270. Frederick, there used to be, but that's many, many years ago. Pennsylvania, last I saw, was like 580 something a gallon. And it's only 509. Big difference, I fueled up here instead. I'm gonna get my ticket and get out of here.
Alrighty. I know you guys are probably tired of the inside view, but with the weather and the snow, all you're gonna get if I have an outside camera facing forward is a face full of snow and or water and won't look good. And everybody likes the overhead view as opposed to right at the window, dash cam style. So do it like that. Rear facing view, this still gets caked up on the back of the camera, not the front of it, works better. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Doing the best I can with what I got. on the end of the Ohio Turnpike before we go into Pennsylvania uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike I know right um, but anyway the problem up here always is there's a sign that says to pull off and use call box to call in to let them know you're coming through however uh, there's no phone there and the far right lane is the only one that's available for an oversized that where the oversize would fit through. That's another problem because, unless I'm mistaken, it looked like that lane is closed. I do have a phone number for them. I've had to do that in the past. The yeah, far right lane is closed, so. Now I've been told pull up to it, they'll see me and open it. I did that one time and I got yelled at. So, you know, it's six of one, half a dozen another. You have no idea what to, what to do. There's no sign directing me to stop. There's no place to pull over. I have ever tried to get it through here. Like, ever. I guess a 
going to make it. Brakes works better. Watch yourself, it's wide. Now they just roll through to take a picture plate and bam. They'll take it. They mail it to Woodbuyer Express. 